Uh, some good news now. Potentially, uh, maybe the seeds, the kernel of a, the, the beginnings of a potential cure for cancer, mm. which uh, sounds good. A recent trial of the cancer drug Dostalimab, I probably said that wrong, <laughs> left doctors stunned oh, after right. it appeared to cure 18 patients in the US of cancer in a recent trial. So what does this mean for other cancer sufferers and are we on the verge of finding a cure? Well, Dr. Frankie joins us now with her thoughts. Always lovely to see you, Dr. Francie, Frankie Jackson-Spence. Um, this is specifically a trial that's looked at um, cancer sufferers with, with pancreatic cancer, is it? Am I right in thinking? Um, so for this drug that you're talking about is actually for colorectal cancer. Okay. So this was yesterday's story. Um, so distalimab is a monoclonal antibody that targets a specific protein that is expressed on the cells of some forms of colorectal cancer. Um, and this is a really exciting trial because um, it's never really been seen before that all patients in the trial showed no signs of the cancer at one year follow up after receiving the, this drug. And that's really exciting because these are patients that would usually undergo chemotherapy and then quite life-changing surgery for their cancer. Um, but the caveat to this is it is still a very small trial with small numbers of patients. I mean, and tiny, 18. Yes, I actually think it's 12 patients oh, okay. um, that received oh. the drug. And um, it's only a phase two trial, so larger randomised control trials are needed. But it's definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah, and is this, is this the one that's based on the kind of the technology behind the COVID vaccine? Um, no, so this is slightly different. So um, this is basically a drug that educates your immune system to target cancer. It works differently to the COVID vaccine. And there's been an exciting headline this morning about some developments in pancreatic cancer. Yeah, well, talk us through that. So um, they have found basically in a very small trial, again, I think only 12 patients, that they could create a personalised vaccine. So what they do is during cancer surgery, they take a small amount of the patient's tumour and then create a vaccine which contains the proteins from that tumour. They then inject it into the patient and it basically triggers a response whereby your body then creates proteins similar to the cancer proteins, which then gets shown to your immune system so your immune system could then go and target the cancer. So it's a real step in the right direction for personalised treatments for patients. And pancreatic cancer, a hideous cancer. I mean, the, the survival rates and, and the speed with which it takes people's lives really makes it the worst standout cancer, doesn't it? So pancreatic cancer is one of the cancers with the worst outcomes. And, you know, this trial is giving this drug um, after having a surgery, which patients feel to be curative, so they're having their cancer removed. But unfortunately, about 75% of patients with pancreatic cancer that undergo surgery, the cancer actually comes back. So this new development in pancreatic cancer with the vaccine could potentially reduce that risk of the cancer coming back post-surgery. Um, so again, a great step in the And, and do yeah. you think we'd have even got here if it wasn't for the COVID? I mean, for the fact that all this research and, and investment went into the RM. RMN. Oh gosh, MRNA. 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 Yeah. MRNA. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Um, yeah, if we hadn't done all that research and, and there'd been so much money invested in it, do you think we'd be here today? So cancer trials looking at mRNA vaccines have actually been going on um, for a long time before the COVID pandemic. And actually, I think it's the reverse. So I think the COVID vaccine strategy was so quick because all of these cancer trials looking right. at mRNA vaccines were already underway. Um, so I actually think it's the opposite. Okay. But um, it's great that we're using technologies for different diseases and different cancer types to kind of help each other out. There will be so people are watching this who say, oh, the COVID vaccine, I'm, I don't want to have it. I'm not sure about it. So I'm going to be quite suspicious about this, this technique to, to cure cancer. I think it's a really novel technique. And for me personally, I work in oncology and cancer clinical trials. And if you can create treatments that are tailor made to that patient's specific cancer, mm. that is going to reduce the risk of it coming back over a long period, then I think that is definitely the direction that the research should be going in. And goodness me, post COVID, we know that we really need to do something about cancer rates and, and treatment in this country. It's a huge problem um, post COVID. Uh, really good to get your thoughts, as always, Dr. Frankie Jackson Spence. Thank you.